Nora Lamandola with Bolt Financial Group, and I am shooting a video today to talk to you about fee-only versus commission-based advisors and why it's really important that you understand how your advisor is being compensated. And so a commission-based advisor is compensated by buying and selling transaction for you. So if they sell you a life insurance policy, know that they're making a percentage on the premium they sell you. And if they make recommendations on buying and selling stock, they make a commission on the value of the stock. And so their incentive is to buy and sell things for you. And they like market volatility because then they can get you to buy things and that's how they're compensated. And hopefully they're doing that in your best interest, but you may always be questioning why they're making certain recommendations. In fact, the Department of Labor and the SEC proposed certain rules and regulations around this back in 2017 and then most recently in June 2020, um, the SEC passed a regulation called Regulation Best Interest. And so what this is showing us is that the government is trying to protect investors from advisors that are making really poor decisions, decisions that are not in clients' best interest and decisions where they're making a commission off of. And really this is far from a fiduciary standard, so we're not quite there yet. So it's important to understand again, why your, or how your uh, advisor is being compensated and why they're making some of the recommendations they are. So a fee-only advisor makes no commission at all. So if they buy and sell stock for you or you have a life insurance policy, know that they're not compensated on that at all. They make a flat percentage on the assets under management they do for you. So their incentives are directly in line with yours. So they make more revenue when your portfolio performs well, and they make less revenue if your portfolio doesn't do as well. So their incentive is directly tied to yours. And oftentimes what we find is this avoidance of a conflict of interest sits well in investors' minds. So again, it's really important that you understand why your advisor is making certain recommendations and how they're compensated. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us at Bolt Financial Group.